Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to do another cartridge comparison. We are going to compare the flattest shooting cartridge in the world, factory offering, the 65300 Weatherby, and I'm going to compare it to the 65 PRC. Now I know what you're saying. Why on earth am I comparing that ultra magnum in the 65300 to a kind of medium powered magnum in the 65 PRC for fun. Hope you guys enjoy the video. In 2016, Weatherby finally offered the public a 65 cartridge. And of course, in Weatherby fashion, they had to offer the most powerful 65 cartridge, which is the 65 300 Weatherby. So what this is, is a basically a 300 Weatherby case neck down to 6.5 and it produces insane velocities with these small long high bc bullets let's go ahead and see what kind of velocities you can get out of this cartridge this here is weatherby's factory ammo offerings for the 65300 weatherby and the top two ones that 127 grain and the 130 grain uh, those two bullets make this the flattest cartridge on the earth. Today, I wanted to look at the 140 grain Acubon with a good BC of 0 0.509 and a muzzle velocity of 3,300 feet per second. It's pretty darn quick. Um, let's go ahead and look at the energy. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. That energy is almost 3,400 foot-pounds. And when you go into the lighter bullet, that 130 grain, it is over 34, almost 3,500 foot-pounds. So yeah, this cartridge is a speed demon. Let's go ahead and take a look at the 6.5 PRC. Initial development started back in 2013, and then Hornady released it in 2018. And... What this is, is a Magnum version, you could say, of a 6.5 Creedmoor. It still has the short action, so, you know, that case length is just a tad bit over two inches. And uh, what you're going to get with the 6.5 PRC is 200 to 300 feet per second advantage over a 6.5 Creedmoor. So let's go ahead and look at the load data for the 140 grain bullet. And if you hand loaded it, you could get this going over 3,100 feet per second. That's pretty darn good. So it's about 200 feet per second slower than the 65300 Weatherby. Now to do a fair comparison with the 65300 Weatherby, I'm also gonna use factory ammo that's offered by Nosler with that same 140 grain bullet. And when we go to Nosler's website, you know, the muzzle velocity, let me move it over just a little bit. Uh, it's backed off a little bit, 2,900 feet per second. And that muzzle energy is down to 2,600 foot pounds. So let's go ahead and see how they compare downrange. All right, so here's the downrange performance of the 6.5 PRC with that factory ammo of the Acubon and a muzzle velocity of 2900, the energy starting out 2615. Let's go ahead and take it out to 400 yards and it's going 2200 feet per second and that energy is uh, right at 1500 foot pounds. So that's that's decent. Uh, the drop only 26.6 inches. Let's just uh, see what it does going out a little bit farther than 400 yards. This is kind of a long distance cartridge. Let's take it out to 600. It's a little bit below 2,000 feet per second, and that energy is at 1,100 foot-pounds. And then the drop is at 78 inches. So let's look at recoil. The recoil is going to be around 21, so it's not bad. It has a little bit of recoil, though. All right, it's time to look at the 65300 Weatherby with the same bullet and factory ammo. Muzzle velocity, as you know, is 3,300 feet per second. Look at the energy. That 
is roughly the same as a 7mm rim mag. It's really impressive with a 6.5 cartridge. Recoil, yeah, it's going to be a bit more than the PRC. Now let's go ahead and go out to 400 yards, like we did with the PRC, and uh, the muzzle block, or sorry, the velocity at 400 is 2551. The energy is 2,000 foot-pounds, so it has a 500 foot-pound advantage at 500 yards. The drop is only 19.3 inches. Let's go ahead and see how far we can go before it hits 1,500 foot-pounds. And You can kind of already see it's at 600 yards, but the cartridge is going 2,200 feet per second and 1,531 foot-pounds. So the 65300 Weatherby has about a 200 yard advantage when you compare factory ammo. I want to talk about advantages and disadvantages for each cartridge. Let's go ahead and start with the 65 PRC. So advantages, uh, this cartridge comes in a short action and so it can come in a lighter rifle and it gives you pretty darn good velocities with a pretty mild recoil. And so it's a pretty darn good effective 6.5 cartridge. Now disadvantages for the 6.5 PRC uh, is that it's really hard to find ammo right now. And so if you get a rifle, good luck finding ammo. Let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages for the 6.5 300 Weatherby Mag. We'll start with the advantages. You can brag to all your hunting buddies that you have the most powerful 6.5 cartridge and the flattest shooting cartridge on the planet. And it's a pretty darn cool looking cartridge. Now, disadvantages. Well, it's extremely overboard and uh, ammo is extremely difficult to find and barrel life is extremely short. So. Yeah, uh, this, this thing uh, is a barrel burner. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hey, let me know in the comments below which cartridge you would pick between the two. Would you pick the 65300 or the 65PRC? Hope you guys have a great day.